Hello guys, what is up? It is Finn here bringing you guys another NHL 18 challenge video. We are going to see what would happen if Eric Carlson was a forward. That is right. So I made him a sniper as left wing because he's a righty. And, you know, they say that you should have your righties at left wing and your lefties at right wing. At least when you play hut and stuff like that. So I figured I'd just make him a left winger. And he's a sniper. So I'll show you guys what he is. All I did was I changed his actual position. Uh, automatically update your line. You know what? That's fine. I will keep that that way. So, because I'm sure he's not going to go anywhere. So he's a first line forward. I actually did change his position to left wing sniper. He's exact franchise. And um, I think this guy will be good. He doesn't have the best shooting attributes because he's obviously just a defenseman. But he's got good puck skills. So I'm actually really excited to see how well he does. But we'll see. We will definitely see. But he's with Duchesne and Stone. A pretty good first line if you ask me. At least with Stone. So, and Duchesne can grow a little bit, so he could probably get up to an 85, depending on how good the team does. And then the de the defense is not as good now. They only have Shabbat and uh, Weidman, and then they got, you know, these guys. But at least, well, they aren't going to be that great. But this guy can still grow. He's a high top 4D, so he should definitely get up to the 80s, I would hope. Uh, and then, yeah, but there's no morale in this, so I don't know how much you're really going to grow in franchise mode, but... We'll see what happens. I'm very excited to see. So we're just going to simulate uh, the season. I turned off injuries because I want to see how well he does in a full season without getting hurt. You know what I mean? I didn't want him to end up out for the rest of the year because that would be kind of pointless to the challenge. But we'll see what happens. We're doing pretty good so far. I haven't lost the game yet. So let's see if we can hit. Let's go with, oh my gosh, we're doing incredible. Let's see if we can hit. Uh, 200 likes this episode. I know we can do it, so go ahead, hit that like button, show that love and support, and subscribe and join the Dorsal family if you guys feel ever so kind. Wow, look at that. 9, 3, and 3. Not bad at all. I, I can't wait to see how good he does, um, like how good his stats are, because we're definitely going to take a look at that and, um, and see how well he does. But, um, I am streaming this on Twitch, by the way, so if you guys want to see the videos before they go up on YouTube live make sure to follow me on twitch the link is down below and um and also i will be streaming today finally at 3 30 eastern time so hope to see you guys then and i did uh, upload a nhl 09 retro be a pro goalie video at 1 p.m so be sure to check that out as well all right so now we're starting to slump a little bit getting some consecutive losses there's at least three up there you got to keep the wins going. We get a lot of overtime and shootout wins. I've noticed that with this team. This has been a pretty bad month, though, if you ask me. But a very quick simulation. I wish it was this quick in franchise mode. Yeah, it's definitely quicker in season. Now we're starting to slump a little bit. I don't know what happened. But I turned off injuries, so I don't think anyone got hurt. Unless the defense is starting to slack now. All right. Hopefully we win this Flyers game. Yeah, it was weird. We started out what seven zero and one, and now we're twenty nine, twenty five and six. So big difference there. And thank you, Hockey Girl, for being a sub since ten k. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. What is your fa favorite series you make? Oh boy, that's tough. Um, oof, I don't know. That's a tough one. I'm liking the Great Britain franchise and the Dorsals and be a pro goalie. I love those three. But I don't know. I really don't know. That's tough. That is a really tough. I like doing the quiz videos too. Speaking of which, I got to do another one. I haven't done one in a while. Maybe I'll do one tomorrow. And we lost to the Flyers. We at least need overtime losses to get some points. All right. Uh, so we're six. We're in sixth with 64 points. But I actually would like to see who the point leader is on our team and it is Carlson with 54 points not bad 54 points in 61 games played uh I'll take that 92 overall so he didn't go up I don't know if anyone has gone up actually it doesn't look like they have this guy though he was a 79 so he went up to an 80 that's good let's actually see if we can edit the lines at all I did put assistant coach edit line so maybe that's why it have they haven't been that great because i want to okay good they did bump him up that's what i wanted done and um 
yeah, I think that's pretty much it. And Shabbat, oh my gosh, he went up to an 85? How? Damn, nice. Uh, let's actually... I feel like he'll go up a lot if we bump him up. And he's only a top six. So, yeah, let's bump him up. Maybe he'll they'll be a little bit better, that, that pair. All right, so not bad at all. Uh, we're going to go ahead and continue simulating. Hopefully, we make the playoffs. Um, but I have no idea what's going to happen. So, we're going to simulate to right here, right after the Boston game. And hopefully, we get some more wins. At least we beat Vegas. I would have been a little depressing if we didn't. Now we're starting to get a little bit more wins. There we go. one nothing, 4-2, 5-3, 4-1. Here we go. This is what I wanted to see. we got some win streaks going on here. Overtime loss. At least that's a point. Now we got two wins there. Oh, yeah. We we definitely... Oh, maybe we didn't make the playoffs, actually, with only 40 wins. That's going to be tough. I don't know. Uh, hey, Deez Pucks. Thank you for the bits buddy appreciate it yeah i finally make it to your stream well thank you for joining us we're happy to have you here all right and awesome ian i hope to see you guys then or i hope to see you then i mean all right let's see if we made the playoffs oh wow we did by a point all right nice i was a little worried we weren't going to but we did all right so let's take a look at the stats the season stats we'll take a look at everyone's of course, Carlson was 76 points. Wow, I got to make my defensemen forwards because <laughs> they seem to do pretty well. Wow, that is awesome. All right, so 76 points. Then Hoffman was 66, 66, 65. A lot of guys in the 60s on this team. I like it. A lot of second liners too up there. Let's take a look at uh, how Anderson did. Uh, not that great, but Condon did pretty decent. He actually did really well. He had a great save percentage. The record could have been better, but... He did great for his overall, in my opinion. Um, all right. Uh, awards? No, we don't need to do... Oh, wait. I want to check the, the whole uh, league and see who the uh, the leaders were. Let's see. And uh, LJ from, thank you for the sub. Welcome to the Dorsal family. And also, oh, wow, we got a lot of follows on Twitch. The Posh... And CBG Hockey, thank you guys for the follows on Twitch. Welcome to the Dorsal family. So Tavares had 91 points, McDavid at 88. And uh, I think that's what McDavid starts at, a 93. But I've seen him at a 96. I forget where, but one of them, he wasn't, he was that high. But that's awesome. Good for a medium franchise. Jeez. Let's take a look at goalies, see who the best goalies were. Vasilevsky, Bobrovsky, I feel like they're always the same guys. <laughs> Pretty much. And Ranta always does well. It's weird. I'm surprised though. Smith actually does pretty well too. This is the second time I've seen him with a very good save percentage. He, I think the Vesna goes to Hellbuck. That's my guess. That's who I think deserves it. I would give it to Hellbuck. Maybe, maybe Anderson. I don't know. I'd give it to Hellbuck. Or that guy, whoever that was. Who had 10 shutouts? I don't know who that was. I can always go back and look. Or you guys can. All right, let's take a look at who was the best team in the league. It was Tampa Bay. No surprise there. And then Toronto was up there, too. And Pittsburgh, Columbus. Wow, Columbus had a very good year. They should be a better team than they actually are, in my opinion. All right, how long have we been recording for? Well, we also had to do some things at the meme menu. All right, let's go ahead and see how we do in the playoffs and see how that goes. I don't think we'll actually... And I, you know what? I do want to send to the end of the season because I want to see... Oh, boy. We're going to get swept. Wow. We got swept by Tampa. Well, that's what happens when you're not the best team in the league. All right. I guess we'll keep simming because I would actually like to see who wins the awards if it goes if Carlson gets any. I want to see who wins the cup, too. Let's see who it was. Who's it going to be? I say Tampa wins it. I'm going to Columbus feeling too. But I'm going with Tampa. But for some reason, I'm getting the strong Columbus feeling. I don't know why. Nashville. All right. That's who I actually had it winning it this year. I wonder if they played Tampa. All right. Let's see the stats central. See how it ended out. And, uh,. And thank you again, these bucks, for even more bits. I appreciate it, buddy. Thank you very much. Let's see. Did they play uh, Tampa? 
Yep, they did. <laughs> I was close to Columbus, though. They lost to Tampa. All right. Well, at least we made the playoffs, so that's good. So Carlson, def excuse me, definitely a promising forward. I don't know what happened there. That was weird. But um, let's take a look at the playoff stats. Uh, Carlson, not very good. Well, he had two points in four games. It's not that bad, but not that great either. Hoffman, was, Hoffman, Ryan, and Pago, I hope I said that right, were the best. I guess our goalies weren't that great. Yeah, he could have done a lot better. And uh, let's take a look at the entire league. See how well, who was the best goalie, Rene. And then Vasilevsky was good too. 94 save percentage for Bob though. 1,000 for Saras. But he, he probably didn't even play a full game. All right, and Sam Kos was the best player in Kucherov, Arvidsson. Wow, Forsberg, McDavid. All right, good stuff. Well, if you guys want to make Carlson a winger in your franchise, I definitely recommend it because he seems to do very well, at least through simulation. So make him a sniper if you'd like. I don't think that's really cheating if you're changing a guy's position, but maybe their role. But, um, well, I don't think he should be a grinder. So, but yeah. That went pretty well. Guys, that is going to do it for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. If you guys have any challenge ideas, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. And check out the other challenge videos on the channel as well. I have a whole playlist for you guys to check out. So be sure to check that out. should be up somewhere over here. But anyway, that is going to do it. I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and streaming with me. For those of you on stream as well, I will see you guys in the next stream slash episode. Peace.